Elements and Compounds Matter can be classified as mixtures and substances. Substances can be elements and compounds. Elements and compounds have similarities. They are both pure substances, homogeneous or have uniform compositions, and made up of atoms. Let us first talk about the elements. Elements are the simplest form of matter. They are made up of atoms. Atoms are the smallest particles. Atoms have three parts. The three parts of atoms are protons, which are positive charge, neutrons, which are no charge, and electrons, which are negative charge. Elements are logically arranged in periodic table of elements. Here is the periodic table of elements. There are 118 elements in the periodic table. Some examples are gold, commonly used as jewelry, helium, which is the gas inside the balloons, and mercury, which can be found inside the thermometer. Elements have unique properties. No two elements are the same. In these samples of helium, tungsten, and chlorine, each has different boiling point and melting point. When two elements are combined, they form compound. For example, two atoms of hydrogen which are element banded with one atom of oxygen which is another element. The hydrogen monoxide or H2O is formed. It is commonly known as water. Water is a compound. The new substance or compound has different properties than the elements they are made of because hydrogen and oxygen are both gases, but they form liquid compound. Additionally, hydrogen is very flammable and although oxygen is not flammable, it can make the fire to burn hotter and faster. However, the water, which is their combination, kills or extinguishes fire. Thus, compounds are made up of elements which are chemically combined. They have different properties from the elements they are made of. Let us differentiate elements and compounds. Let us begin with their composition. Elements are made up of one or more atoms of the same kind, while compounds are made up of two or more different kinds of atoms or elements. Now, let us move on to their particle. The particles of elements look like this. Atoms can be isolated or combined with the same atoms, while the particles of compounds combined with two or more different types of elements. Matter separation. Elements cannot be divided or broken down into simpler form, while compounds can be divided or broken down into simpler substance by chemical process. Elements is composed of one type of atom so it cannot be broken down into simpler form. While compound is consisted of more than one element, so it can be broken down into its components. Types The types of elements are metals, non-metals, and metalloids. In the periodic table of elements, the elements in red color are metals, in green color are non-metals, and in blue color are metalloids. The types of compounds on the other hand are acids, bases, and salts. Examples The examples of elements are or elements in periodic table and all combinations of the same kind of elements. While the examples of compounds are all combinations of different kinds of elements. Specifically, 
The examples of elements which are metals are iron, gold, and silver. Non-metals are nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. And metalloids are boron, silicon, and germanium. Well, the specific examples of compounds are salt, which is a combination of sodium and chlorine, water, which is a byproduct of hydrogen and oxygen, and rust, which is formed when iron reacts with oxygen. Now, let us have exercise. Identify whether the substance is element or compound. Sulfur, is it element or compound? It is element. Carbon dioxide, is it element or compound? It is compound. Sugar, is it element or compound? It is compound. Copper, is it element or compound? It is element. Ammonia, is it element or compound? It is compound. Comment down your score.